Yo, what's up guys? We got Pogame here. Today I felt like recording a Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi battle. Last time I did, Shaman was released. Arceus is released now. I'm not using Arceus today because I don't feel like playing Ubers on Wi-Fi, but I'm using just this random assortment of Pokemon. Like I said, I was just in the mood to play. I got like a Belly Drum Licky Licky. I have uh, a Shell Smash Cloister. I have a, a Power Herb Solar Beam Heatran to try and lure Rotom to let Cloister win. Hopefully people are still using code 2022. 2021. If you guys do enjoy Wi Fi battles or just po competitive Pokemon content in general, feel free to subscribe. I'm on my way to. Uh, oh, they're, they're battling. Those guys are battling. I'm on my way to 300k. That is my end of the year goal. And like I said, I upload every single day, whether it be Wi Fi battles, shut on lives, you got Pokemon talking videos, and you know, with Scarlet and Violet coming out right around the corner. Honestly, it is right around the corner. This, this year's gonna go by like this. So it's like every other year. Uh, hopefully, we got some cool content with that. But uh, yeah, I'm going to wait right here and uh, I guess just wait for a battle. I think they just finished their battle. There's, oh, 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 I got you. No. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go. Let's go. Now, I have no idea how this is going to do. Like I said, I'm playing Jay. Jay, my name is Joey. We'll see how this goes. But yeah, if you guys do enjoy the Wi-Fi battles, let me know. Honestly... The 20 minute time in this game kind of just throws me off. I really want to do Draft League with BDSP. I feel like it'd be a lot of fun, but I don't know. It's just, you definitely can't do it with a 20 minute timer for whatever reason. Uh, their team is kind of fast, man. Kind of fast. If I can lure the... I think if I can lure the, the Rotom, I can win. So, yeah, I think if I can lure Rotom, I can win. I'm gonna lead off with Latios immediately just because I can get a pass. I, I get 6 0 by Blissey as well. <laughs> I'm gonna lead off with Latios immediately because if they lead off with Rotom and it's Choice Scarf and I get the damage off on it, I think I win immediately. Right? I did not write down their team. Crap. Okay, it was it was a lot of annoying Pokemon. It was Blissey, Rotom Wash, Tangrowth, Raikou, Starmie, and Garchomp. I believe that was their team. So they end up leading off with Raikou. Now this is something that is definitely fast as hell and not something I really want to deal with too much. So I'm just going to drop a Draco here. Maybe they Volt Switch not expecting me to be Scarf or they go for Spec Shadow Ball. They're just going to go hard into Blissey. <laughs> yeah, they're going to go out into their Blissey, which is fair. Which I think is completely fair. Uh, I need a bit of damage on this will be nice. We're going to attempt to get up Rock. Like I said, if I want to win this game, it's going to be with Cloyster. Shell Smash Cloyster for sure is going to be my win con. So I need to weaken Rotom. I definitely need a weaken Rotom. The good thing is Blissey can only go for Thunder Wave. It can't Toxic. I mean, it could technically just beat Cloyster 1v1 if it really, really wants to. But we'll go Cloyster now anyway just because we can Rapid Spin and then get up Stealth Rock. That's like the big thing there. I'm assuming they go for Rocks of their own or they just go for Thunder Wave if they really want to. Like I said, my team is... I don't expect to play Blissey on Wi-Fi because I mean, why... <laughs> Why are you gonna use moves that mons are gonna wait the, the make the turns go by so slowly personally anyway they get up stealth rock there i'm gonna do the exact same thing and then i'm gonna rapid spin after i can't really threaten this thing with an earthquake they may just go rotom after too but we're gonna get up our stealth rock here we're max special defense so i can even rapid spin on both rotom as well as starmie maybe they fear explosion so they switch i guess tangrowth can come out too if it wants to yeah they go tangrowth not too bad. So, we get up our rocks. That's going to be nice, like I said, for chipping away at that Rotom. This guy, too. I, what I need to do, I think, is use Belly Drum Licky Licky to kind of muscle through these two. I'm going to Rapid Spin immediately. I will be faster. Or I am naturally faster. Unless there's specs, I'm good here. They shouldn't be able to knock me out anyway. But we're going to get rid of these Stealth Rock because I do have Focus Sash on Cloister. And we're going to use that to my advantage. We want to use that to my advantage. Maybe a knockoff might come out. They go for Block. Now... I don't know if I'm trapped here with them. I don't know if I'm trapped here with them because I know Ice Beam is going to do a good chunk. Plus, I'm feeling a little bit cold and I'm feeling like freezing. I don't know about y'all, but it's been it's been real cold here in Connecticut. Though today was like 78, but ever, like it, it's 78 and then it jumps to 42. So I live in Connecticut now, by the way. I don't live in New York anymore. So they go for knockoff, which is honestly, that is a very offensive. That did a lot. That is a very offensive Tangro. Very offensive Tangro. We're gonna throw off another Ice Beam here. They shouldn't stay in. They shouldn't risk this roll. They have Regenerator. They should always go Blissey or something. 
I definitely think they should always go Blissey. Maybe they go Rotom as well. Rotom would be great. Like I said, every bit of chip on Rotom is going to help me out. I'm okay with Starmie as well. Again, uh, a little bit of damage on this guy, especially if it's Life Orb. A little bit of damage on this guy goes a long way too. Because that's in range of Rock Blast. If I see no leftovers, let's go. Okay, uh, in terms of switch-ins, we call you my Lodic, the greatest quote-unquote switch-in ever. Even if they Hydro, if they Rapid Spin, it's fine. Like I said, they die. I'm trying to get them in range of Icicle Spear, right? I'm trying to get them in range of Icicle Spear. Ooh, they burnt me. I'm competitive, so that like doesn't help me in the slightest. We're gonna go for Life Orb Hydro Pump here, see what happens. Again, I would love for them to go Rotom. If they go Blissey, I will try and put it to sleep with Hypnosis. They do switch. That chip damage on Starmie is going to be going a long way, man. It really is. All right. This is the plan. After we land Hydro Pump like a demon, we're going to land Hypnosis. We're going to land Hypnosis. I've decided that this is exactly what's going to happen. We are going to land Hypnosis. That damage on Starmie means it dies to Rock Blast. Like, guaranteed it's going to die to the Rock Blast. I mean, guaranteed as in if, if I hit. We're going to land Hypnosis. Yeah, I already told you. I told you exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to land Hypnosis. And if I say I'm going to land Hypnosis, I'm going to land Hypnosis. That's it. Now, I'm going to bring out my Licky Licky. Best case for me would be that they actually stay asleep another turn. They stay in. I guess if they go Rotom as well and it takes Stealth Rock and I don't see leftovers on that, like in that thing's Choice Scarf, that's good too. But yeah, I have to really try my best to break through this. We're going to go Licky Licky here. Um, best, like I said, best case is they don't get the first turn wake. Cause if they wake up right now, it'd be the first turn wake. They already burnt the guaranteed turn of sleep right there. They do wake up immediately and they go for softball. Not too bad. To be honest, not too bad. That's not bad at all. all right, I'm gonna go for substitute here. Just in case, uh, they try to go for thunder wave. They do end up switching. Maybe Tangrowth? They go Tangrowth. Ah, I gotta be so careful, man. This Tangrowth, though? I don't know, man. I feel like I feel like Licky Licky bulky enough to take hits, man. I feel like Licky Licky is bulky enough to take hits. Like, I, I feel like its substitute is bulky enough to take hits. I don't know, though. We'll find out. Time the belly drum. Got nothing else to do. Get rid of my item as well. Well, I don't even... This is... I'm pretty sure this Licky Licky might be EV'd for level 100, so... I don't even know if I'll get my... My Salic Berry. I did! Let's go! Wait, no, that's an attack raise. Duh. I did not get my Salic. That is unfortunate. That is very, very unfortunate. I'll go for Substitute here just to get my Salic Berry. I should be able to sub. I believe I'm at one... I want to say I'm one, like, I'm just above one-fourth. So I'll sub here. There you go, one HP. Um, again, best case would be, like, they click something really bad here, like, knock off. But, again, I'm plus six. I'm going to be able to knock something out. I'm not as worried about Blissey. I'm more worried about, like I said, that Rotom. I think Tango. I'm pretty sure Tango dies. This is plus six body slam. But then again, Tango is a demon. I'm only 85 attack. So let's see what happens. Oh my god, Tango ate that up, dude. I barely did any damage at all. Now, the good thing is here, though, I can go right out to Cloyster. And ideally, they go out to, like, Scarf Rotom or something. But I go right out to Cloyster and I click Icicle Spear. Like I said, ideally, they go Scarf Rotom and they take the Icicle Spear chip so that way I can Rock Blast them. Or if I find out they're Scarf versus Leftover. Like, if they're Scarf, I think I actually just can Shell Smash anyway. Come on, Cloyster. Let's go. We're not going to Shell Smash here. Um, this should be a free KO with Icicle Spear. <laughs> yeah, I'm rhyming, man. But uh, they, they can't risk me shell smashing. And I keep my focus sash intact, which is important. This will always hit five times because of my ability. 
So there is one annoying Mon gone. I'm assuming Rotom comes out. We'll find out in a sec. But we want to see Rotom. We want to see, and we don't want to see an item, right? We want it to be Scarf Rotom, because if Scarf Rotom takes two Stealth Rock switchings, it dies to Rock Blast at plus two. I don't want them to be Thunder Wave, so I'm going to make the Clyde all play. Right here. And then what I'll do is I'll double out, if they go for Thunderbolt or, or will wisp this is fine. And then I'll double out to Latios. They do go for Trick. Oh, I 100%. That's completely fine. That is completely fine. Perfect. Perfect. I should be able to go right out into my... Uh, with no Choice Scarf, I should be good. I think. They do go for Hydro. That's fine. I am going to simply click Psychic here. I should have Draco'd, but... Uh, I mean, Psycho was actually a misclick, but... I don't mind Blissey coming out. I basically rap has been forever in front of Blissey. We already know that the Rotom isn't Choice Scarf anymore, and my Cloyster at plus two destroys everything now. Now that Rotom is taking two turns of Stealth Rock, essentially, we're good. So I think the plan is to go Clayton all year, and then just spam Rapid Spin forever. They go for Thunderbolt. So they have Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, Stealth Rock. Gonna just spam Rapid Spin here. That way they can never Rapid Spin. Thunderbolt, Stealth Rock. Maybe they're not Thunder Wave if they're Thunderbolt. There's Rotom. Oh, I get even more chip on them, which is amazing. So again, like this is really good. Like even if there were like defensive variants, this is really, really good. Oh, and that's all offensive for sure. That did that rabbit spin from a calm nature clay doll did too much. Go right back out into Latios here. We already have the dims we need on Rotom. We're just setting up for that Shell Smash Cloister. We're waiting for Garchomp to come in, basically. We're waiting for like basically Garchomp to come in. There's a Willow. Plus two Icicle Spear as well is just really, really strong. It actually kills Starmie as well, which is crazy, right? Just gonna Draco again. Don't gotta predict, I think, in this situation. Like, the more times that that mod switches into Stealth Rock, the easier for me, right? So... I never care about Blissey coming in. Also, I'm fairly confident Blissey damn near dies to my attack too. I just wanted to make sure I just want to make sure Blissey has some damage on it. Because if Blissey has some damage on it, I can beat it. 1v1. Mm. I wish I wish my heat ran had explosion. Okay, I'll go heat right here. I need to keep Blissey low and then be able to rapid spin as Claydol dies. That's what I need to do. Alright, so they have ice beam. So, so they have no thunder wave, so I don't have to fear, but I because I'm not at full HP. I do have to fear the, uh, because I'm not at full HP, I do have to fear Thunderbolt. So I'm going to go back to Claydol right now. I do have to fear Thunderbolt. I'm fairly confident they die to a plus two Ice Spear. I'm just trying to set up for that opportunity. I'm doubling on to Claydol just in case they want to go for Stealth Rock. The ideal situation for me is that they Ice Beam my Claydol. And they just go for Soft Bolt. I need to keep Blissey low, man. 
I'm just gonna rapid spin again. Always. You know what? That does too much. They're offensive. They're for sure offensive. Like, that does enough. That actually... It's crazy to say it, but that does enough for... I know my Shell Smash is good. Like, I know that my Shell Smash Icicle Spear is going to knock him out just because that's a calm-natured rapid spin. 50 base power minus attack doing that much. Doing legitimately that much is insane. Come on. Just kill me with Ice Beam, bro. Kill me with Ice Beam right now. Because then I shot smash in their face and provided they don't par uh, paralyze me, I'm fairly confident I win the game with Icicle Spear like five times. Just keeping my focus sash intact and just pull opening up my situation. There's four minutes left for us to battle. Please make a move. Thank you. Okay, so they stay low, which is good. Raikou comes out. Get a little chip on this too, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Do we see leftovers on this Raikou at all? I do not. I am going to make the Heatran play. Uh, they could be Specs with Shadow Ball, which is a fine play to go for now. They could go for Scald, but I don't care because Heatran doesn't really beat anything. They go for Light Screen. Ooh. I don't think Light Screen matters as much. I'm just going to throw off a Solar Beam just in case they're crazy and go out into... Oh, they scald me. That's fine. Just in case they were crazy and went right out to, like, Starmie or something. Yeah, like, if they went Starmie or Rotom, basically, uh, I wouldn't have... I, I would have done a lot of damage, basically. I, I wouldn't have killed... I might have killed Rotom even through Light Screen. I don't think I would have killed the Starmie, though. Oh, I get a nasty crit on Raikou. Earthquake. Okay, so what do I want to do here? Do I want to shell smash in this thing's face and risk paralysis? Every mod is going to risk paralysis, and this might even just be Volt Switch. So I'm going to go closer because I'm focused, Ash. So. Would they be random extreme speed? No, no way. I'm not going to believe that they'd be random extreme speed. Yeah, they vault switch. Okay, good. This is great. Doesn't even risk paralysis. I'm guaranteed faster. I get... If they were random extreme speed, they die to stealth rock now, so I'm good. I'm definitely good. And then I shell smash up with Cloyster here, and I think I win the game. I think everything just dies. Offensive star me hella dies. Like, it dies, for sure. Unless my dude was Choice Scarf, star me. <laughs> Which I guess they could have been, but no. That... Choice Scarf plus Choice Scarf Rotom? Get the hell out of here, man. And I can just go right for Ice Shard versus Garchomp in case that's Scarf 2. I mean, if they give me Blissey, I just click Draco anyway. <laughs> so, I saw no item on this guy. And even if they're max HP, Ice Ghost Spear still does a lot. If they're Choice Scarf, they outspeed me and they win anyway, right? They were not, like I said, this is a plus two Icicle Spear. This always kills in five hits. Two. Don't show me a berry. Three. Ah, the Cloister setup. And that should be game. Unless they timer me right now, that should be game. Because all I got to do is click Ice Shard, Icicle Spear, Icicle Spear, Icicle Spear, and we win the game. Rotom comes out. I click Icicle Spear versus that. I win the game versus Rotom. This dies to Icicle Spear as well. I don't have to predict anything. It will die to Icicle Spear. Don't ever have to click Rock Blast. They were Choice Scarf. I saw how much Rabbit Spin did as well. Oh my god, wait. That's a, that's cutting a little close. Oh, never mind. We're good. We're good. When, when the second one hits and you see the damage, oh, you know you're good. And like I said, guys, Skill Link Cloister, man. I was setting up for this entire win. I was setting up for this win the entire game, guys. The entire game I was setting up for this win. I noticed my team was really weak to Blissey. I know all I had to do was weaken that Pokemon. I don't know if this is Yachi Berry. It could be. I feel like it doesn't exist though, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna risk it being Choice Scarf. Let's see. It wasn't Yachi Berry. I start to guarantee KO on Garchomp and it's priority. 
There we go. And that, my friends, is a very, very, very successful cloister sweep. Guys, leave a like for the cloister sweep. Leave a like for the cloister sweep. Oh my god. This is definitely why you use Shell Smash Cloister. Let's not misclick here. Let's just click Icicle Spear. Ah, they did not want to let all their Pokemon die. I do hope you guys all enjoyed. Like I said, all my plays were to set up specifically for that. That's why I got damage on everything. That's why I let the Rotom get weakened. That's why I threw my clit all in on Ice Beams and Water-type Pokemon. And I didn't really care. And that's why I definitely wanted Stealth Rock up as well. So, if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe. And, you know, it doesn't matter if there's no King's Rock, man. Shell Smash Cloister is that much of a threat. Even if I didn't... Uh, if I, I guess if I didn't crit Raikou, I'm fairly confident that was like light screen and reflect. But um, if the Raikou somehow had extreme speed, then obviously the crit mattered with Solar Beam because then they would have come back in. Priority extreme speed is higher priority than priority Ice Shard uh, since it's plus two and priority Ice Shard is plus one priority and priority E speed is two plus two. It doesn't matter. I can have plus six speed and E speed will always be faster. They could have knocked me out. But I doubt that was the case. If you guys do enjoy these Wi Fi battles, let me know. Leave a like, subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Let me know what to use, actually. But, I mean, I only have a few Pokemon right now. But I'll still try it. Peace, guys.